Cole with the basketball. Crossover dribble. Dantas back to Hull. Lexi Hull. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Sexy Lexi. Beautiful lady. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Sexy Lexi lady. here at Woco to track an ace. Let's talk about Lexi freaking Hall. <laughs> Let's talk about sexy Lexi, man. Did her thing. Did her thing tonight. Actually, she might have been the best player for the fever tonight. I mean, or second best behind Caitlyn. Uh, she, she bought a game. She did exactly what I said she was supposed to do in the preview. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. She did exactly what she was supposed to do, y'all. Um, she did her thing. She shot the three ball well. All I was asking for, too, make two threes. I got that from her, and she played hella defense. I got everything I needed from um, Lacey Hall tonight. It's just that the rest of the team outside of Caitlin didn't really show up, you know? Mitchell showed up in spots. She had 21, but I thought she had a brutal game defensively. And she disappeared on them in the second and fourth quarter. I don't know why she wasn't consistently. She was 2 for 10 from the field, too. That was pretty That was pretty bad. Aaliyah Boston had 15 rebounds. Had a, um, She had like a so-so game, but it was one of her worst in a while offensively. Uh, she was just turning the ball over way too much. Had four turnovers. Um, But... Wasn't too bad though, but like it's just that the rest of the team didn't really show up, man. When and this is a reflection on the roster. It's just not a championship roster that we have, man. We're gonna make the playoffs, but we might be able to still around. But you know, I think that we're we're in a position right now where we're just not all the way there yet, man. Because we need a lot of help. Um, this is why I keep telling people, people, these people keep thinking Mitchell's the answer, man. We need to draft some younger guards, bro. Next to Caitlin. Um, Sophia Cent I mean, uh, yeah, Sophia uh, Centron is out there. Uh, Lucy Olsen. We could get, try to go get Kate Martin back off, off uh, the Aces, man. Get Camila uh, Cardoza in the future. Get Satu Sabali in free agency. And some of these other girls. Alyssa Thomas is a free agent, too, but I think she's going to stay with Connecticut, though. Um, but we need some help, man. Needs some help. I did like the fact that we got Tamu tonight. We we got Tamu back. I think she's gonna play a lot better as she gets her rust off. Um 
she's gonna play a lot better. She she's the first one to really have that connection with Caitlyn on the court as far as her passes. So I do think Tamu's gonna play a lot better going forward. But it, it's it's the same people who just like Katie Lou did have a zero burger, but I don't think she was just she needs to get in a groove a little bit, but I don't think Katie Lou's a real problem though. She just I think at this point right now, I just don't think she should be starting though. That's the only thing, but she's got that max contract, so it's kinda hard to like keep on the bench. Nalissa Smith is a problem. Erica Wheeler's a problem, man. I mean, Nalissa Smith is still getting on, even though Dantes has some bad moments in that fourth quarter that cost us uh, to get a, a chance to really, really get back in the game. Dantes still outplayed Nalissa Smith, though, which is crazy, coming off the bench. And the reason why I'm not even really mad at Dantes is because she still plays really good defense. She was a plus 10 on the court. Lexi Hall was a plus 8. So that's why I'm not mad at her. But let's get let's talk more because I did this video to talk more about Lexi. I did the other video talking about the team and the other video. So we are gonna leave it at that right there. Let's talk about Lexi freaking all though, because Chrissy sides. Well, Chrissy sides did give her more minutes today. She gave her 26 minutes, which I'm happy about because anything more than anything north of 25 is good for Lexi. But I think Lexi's getting to a point right now where she needs like 30 or more because of the fact of how important she's becoming to the team. She's become really important and it, and it showed tonight. It showed so much tonight. That first quarter without her did was was the game. Hey guys in the chat, I mean hey guys in the comments, let me know this in the comment section. Did the first quarter lose the game? Because I think it certainly did. That first quarter is 29 and 16. That that was the game right there. Because Indiana was chasing the rest of the night. Nafisa Collier just so hot. McBride hit timely threes. Courtney Wills hit some shots. And then Carleton hit some big threes. Hit like four of them in their face, man. Carleton got back on track after hitting two last night. But I think because Alana Smith had zero, I think they're just deferring. I think, I think that's got more to do with deferring than them not playing a really good game because you can't even say Alana Smith didn't have a good game because she didn't put up a single shot. It's like she was just deferring the whole game because she knew her teammates was on it. She knew her teammates was on one, especially Collier. So she just got out the way, basically. That's what, that's what that was. Unless you need me, I'm not putting the ball in the basket. <laughs> it was basically what Alana Smith was saying. Um, That team is going to the – I think they're going to the WBA Finals against uh, the Liberty. But I'm not counting out the Sun, man. The Sun could – Beat the Liberty, man. They beat them. They beat them tonight. So we'll see what happens. But it it was it, it showed in the first quarter, twenty nine to sixteen, bro. And then if you want more evidence that Lacey Hall plays really good defense, look at the score. Um, after that, Lexi. So without Lexi Hall in the first half, it was twenty nine points that they gave up as a defense. She only gave up sixteen in that second quarter by herself, bro. Sixteen. 16 plus 8 when she was out on the court. That's how y'all got to look at plus minuses because I don't really like them when players play the whole game like a Caitlin Clark because she was a minus 13 Caitlin Clark. She played the whole game. It, it matters more for especially players that come off the bench because you will see their impact. And Indiana was a plus 8 when she was out on the floor. That should tell you all you need to know how important she's become. If she plays the whole game, Minnesota might not win. If she played the whole 40 minutes, they might not win this game, bro. Because she's that stifling on D. They did it again. Came out of the break in the third without Lexi on the court. Minnesota was hotter than fish grease. Got up. They put up 18 points, I believe, by the time Lexi came in. Lexi comes in. The next... Five to seven minutes, they only scored nine points. And then the rails just fell off kind of more in that fourth quarter, but Lexi's defense wasn't wasn't affected by it. Let whenever Lexi Lexi is like if I played against if I played ball, bro, and I had to play against Lexi E. Hall, man, I would want to fight her, bro, because she would get me so frustrated. Her energy is just there, man. She's a nag on the court. And every time someone tries to make a move to the basket, she's like, 
her her foot speed to put her foot her right foot in front of the defense uh, in front of the um the ball handler is amazing. It's amazing. I saw that happen like two times. Like I saw it live two times tonight, where I thought she was going to get beat, and then, and then she puts her foot out, it stops them in their tracks. This girl just knows how to move her feet on defense, bro. That's what it is. She knows how to move her feet. And she did her thing offensively. Shot two threes. And that's all and that's all I was saying. Because I know the six out the six out of seven, that's a that's a novelty. That's not something that we're gonna see. At least at this point in her career, I don't think we're gonna see it that often. Later on when she gets that three point shot a little bit more consistently, yeah, she's gonna we're gonna see that a lot. We're gonna see a lot of uh her shooting four, five, or six threes a game, you know. Um, but for right now, two for three. She was four out of field, four out of five from the field in this one, and ended up with ten points, the most off the bench, and even matched Boston with those ten. She was the she was tied for the third leading scorer on the team, and that just cannot happen if you're a bench player. If you're a bench player, you should not be tied for the third best points on the team. She's basically like the sixth man right now. And this is why a lot of you that made that point about the bench, I can see why you made that point. Because she is, to this team, this team right now, she's a good six-man. Once she develops more offensively, that's when I think they could turn her into a, a full-time starter. You know? So I don't disagree with Saz having her on the bench. It's just that don't have her on the bench that damn long, though. Because she had 26 minutes, which I like. If she had another 21, I would have snapped. I would have been like, no, that's not enough. That's like half the game she's playing. Like, no, she's got to play at least three quarters of the game. At least three quarters. So, I even need to see that, that 26 per closer to 30. Like, at least 30. I, I want to see it get to 30 points. All right? But, I do like off the bench right now. But you can make the argument that she's a start just because of the way these games are going coming in the first and coming out of the locker room a lot of games is if you know the nba game a lot of games are won in the first quarter that's why i was telling y'all man i think this game was won in the first quarter man no hole no problem for the links it, it, you you know like players know when someone's not out there that, that that plays really good defense bro and they took advantage of every last second of that because they lost the second quarter 28 to 16. then some more some more stuff from Hall. 23 to 20. Even though they lost that quarter, 23 to 20 is not bad at all. They just need us to make some more shots and they made some stupid turnovers too. But man, Lexi freaking Hall is it's getting to a point now where you can't even really not have her on the floor. Like, it's getting to that point now. It's almost like Caitlyn. You cannot have a second where Caitlyn isn't in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? And this is why the team needs a deeper roster. This is this is why the team needs to be deeper, bro. This is why I said, this is why I've been saying what I've been saying about them needing to draft Kate, um, Lucy Olsen, Sophia Centron, um, Hannah Stokey. Sign Satu Sabli moves like that. Get Kate Martin back. Shoot, at this point, get Kate Martin back. You know, put her back with Cece. You don't think Kate Martin could have helped in this game? We're gonna make a video about Kate Martin as well, man. I meant to make it today, but I didn't have time. We're gonna make a video about Kate Martin, and I want to make a video about Camila Cardoso because I I think she'd be a way better fit with the Fever. Imagine if we had her tonight playing center. Imagine if we had her playing tonight, playing center, bro. Keep playing, though, man. Thinking we need to sign Kelsey Mitchell, though, because Kelsey Mitchell is in the way. She's she's gotten to the point where she's just kind of in the way. Just kind of in the way from doing what we need to do financially. You know? Um, on some real talk. But... But Lexi Hall right now, I am glad that we could walk away from this game saying Lexi Hall did what she needed to do. Because now in Atlanta, if she could have another game like this in Atlanta, 
we're going to win. Because Atlanta's way different than the Lynx. The Lynx might make it to the finals. That's how good they are. But the, but the Dream been playing a lot better ball before um, lately. But they could be beat. They could be beat. That's the difference between them and the Lynx. And so there's no reason why we shouldn't win that game on Monday um, if we keep playing this way. So Lacey Hall, I want to see 30 minutes from Lacey Hall on Monday, though. I think if you give her 30 minutes, that, that'll that really help. That'll really help, right? That, that'll that really help. And then I don't think Boston's going to have another bad game like she did. I think Boston's going to be better. So that should help as well. I think I need Kelsey Mitchell to do a, be a little bit more efficient from three. Two out of ten is not going to cut it. She needs to be a little bit more efficient. But um, and Tamu, I think, is going to have a better game, too. I think she's going to settle in, like I said. But Lexi Hall did her thing tonight, man. Defensive player of the year. I swear she is. De defensive player of the year. Her impact defensively shows up every single game, bro. Shows up every single game. It's like... It's like, bro, I was getting so pissed when she wasn't out on the floor, man. I was like, put her out on the damn floor. And I heard other people get mad, too, because I was in the chat. I was like, put her out on the damn floor. <laughs> but we're going to see the way this one's going to go on Monday, man. It's going to be very interesting. It's a huge kind of test game before we get the Sun on Wednesday. A big showdown against the Sun on Wednesday against Marina Mabry in the squad. And DJ Carrington back at back. DJ Carrington, man. Revenge game for CeCe, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, I think Lexi, I like the way Lexi Hall played today. She played well. Can't put this one on Lexi Hall, that's for damn sure. She only made, like, one mistake in this game. She made, but I think that was more on Caitlin Clark, the way she passed the ball to her. There was this uh, uh, transfer, uh, transition chance that we didn't get, transition opportunity that we didn't complete, but... Outside of that, man, Lexi Hall starting to get in a groove. She's starting to find herself in this league. It's, 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 she's in her third season, but she's starting to find herself. You know, uh, I think playing with CeCe is helping her. That's why I'm going to... So, let, let's get over to the videos that we got, and then we're going to wrap this thing up. Let me know about your thoughts on this in the comment section below, man. How y'all thought Lexi played. I definitely want to hear from y'all in the comment section. Um, and I'm, I'm going to try to... Get back to y'all. Something, man. I, I made so many videos. I, I've had trouble trying to get, you know, respond to some of y'all in the comment section, man. Uh, but I'll be reading y'all comments, so don't, don't even worry about that. I'll be reading y'all comments, man. But uh, we got a, a Best Friends Forever tribute video. I released that. Probably bad timing on that. One. I don't think nobody's going to watch it because of this loss. But uh, I released that. And then we got a video talking about the friendship. Between Caitlyn and Lexi. That's a very important video, guys. Definitely make sure y'all go watch that one. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, what else did I want to say outside of that? Uh, we got that. We got the Sexy Lexi Hall tribute video up already. Y'all supported that one. I think that one almost uh, at 15,000 views. That was crazy how fast that one was growing. Um, got the all oh, the marketing video. If you haven't seen that one yet, make sure y'all watch that video. That's a really important video. Watch that one in the Barbie video that I made earlier in the week. We got some more good stuff coming for Lexi Hall all this week, so make sure y'all lock in. But uh, let, let's turn it over to the Patreon. On the Patreon, um, full... Caitlin Clark games this season, a few select Caitlin Clark games. We are very close to uploading that first one. I'm going to have a link in the description box when it's up. It'll be the LA Sparks game from earlier this season, man. We're going to be putting that one up. So make sure y'all sign up for the Patreon and watch it. Some of them games will be free. Some of them will be paid for. So, um, But we're going to start putting them up. Also, Cash App. I got a Cash App. Dollar Sign Sack Exchange. Huge thank you to L Professor who uh, gave me $10 uh, donation early in the week. Really appreciate that from a fan. I really appreciate it. Much love to you and respect. Um, also, scan the QR code to uh, donate any Bitcoin that you guys got. Um, if you got any Bitcoin, definitely uh, scan the QR code to send it. You could donate like David Close used to do on Google. And if you got any uh, platforms, other donation platforms that I don't have, let me know in the comment section. We'll see if we can work with it because I am banned on some of them. 
but I thank anybody who does send a donation. And if you just saying one or two dollars, that's great. And if you can't, that's okay too, man. I, I understand if you if you been maybe you want to donate and you just can't right now, man. But in the future, maybe you will. So I appreciate it, man. But there is something you can do for free. Hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. Tracking Ace.